Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. I am Eric and today I'm going to be talking to you about my newest fun little toy, the Shiro. That's S-P-H-E-R-O. Shiro is basically a toy for kids and adults, um, especially tech geeks like myself. Um, it is a remote control uh, ball, basically, um, but it is a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, I had seen these in stores. Um, they're not that expensive, but they're about a hundred bucks. So, you know, maybe a lot of money for a toy. So I wasn't about to buy one for myself, but lo and behold, I got one for my birthday this year. Um, and uh, I've been playing with it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you control it with your phone, and I'm going to have video playing throughout this review of uh, you can, so you can see it in action. Um, when you open the app on your phone, you have controls. Uh, there's also music and sound that plays uh, through your phone uh, that coincides with what's happening with Shiro. So when, if, sh if the Shiro hits a wall, you hear sort of crash noise on your phone. Um, and there are power-ups you can get to make it do special things like dance and it'll play music. That sound comes through your phone. Uh, what's really cool is to hook your phone up to a Bluetooth speaker. So then the sounds, instead of coming from your phone, they come from the speaker. So it sounds a little bit more like uh, it's coming from the Shiro itself. Um, this is really tough. Uh, they recommend you crash it into walls and stuff, even at top speeds. It can go on land, it can go on a carpet, it can go in water. Um, I put through it in a pool. I don't have a pool, but I was at a friend's house with a pool, so I had it in the pool, and uh, yeah, it actually works in the pool and, and goes very fast. It has LEDs in here, so it, there's like thousands of colors uh, you can come up with with the LED combinations, and hopefully you can see some of those colors. Hopefully they came through on the uh, video, um, but that's, that's cool. Um, it, the mechanism that drives it is obviously all inside here. Uh, it does have, as you'll see with the app, there's a way, uh, a button you press with, and a little blue light that you line up with where you are to make sure the controls are in the right direction. And you can control it with uh, physical controls or you can set it so that you control it with tilt by tilting your phone and control it that way. Um, once you get used to it, it's, it's fairly easy to control the general direction, having it go away from you, come back to you, right, left. Um, takes some getting used to it first, but once you get used to it, uh, it is uh, a lot of fun. Um, there are missions that uh, you have uh, in the app itself, uh, and when you accomplish those missions, uh, you get points. There are things like drive a certain distance and don't crash more than three times. Then there's other ones like crash 20 times in 30 seconds. Uh, lots of different missions and with those points you exchange them to get sort of power-ups. Uh, some of them are funny, like you can make it sneeze, you can make it jump, other ones will make it dance or make it do other crazy cool uh, uh, things. Now besides the app that comes with it, the, the base app that you use to control the Shiro, um, there are other apps uh, that are uh, augmented reality games and things like that and then there are third-party apps uh, which allow you to do a lot of different things. Well, one of them allows it to just sit but light up different colors uh, in the beat to the music that's playing, any music you might have playing. Uh, so kind of a little party uh, party favor, or not favor, but party piece uh, there. Um, another one is, because you can, you know, depending on your dog or your cat, you can use this to entertain them. Uh, my dog is just scared of it. She <laughs> just runs away from it. She doesn't understand what's going on with it. Um, other dogs that have really tough jaws and might try to kill it might not want to. So you have to kind of gauge your dog. But like there's one app on the on the Google Play Store that makes it so that if an animal touches it, anytime it gets a touch, and I just woke it up by tapping it, anytime it gets a touch, it, it starts to move. So that could be fun uh, with your pet. Um, as well. Um, there are several interesting third-party apps that make it do lots of different things. Um, but mostly I use it just with the built-in app with the remote control. It's just fun to take to parties and throw it on the ground and start rolling it around uh, with people. You could even take it theoretically to a nightclub because you can make it dance and it has lights and so that kind of fits the, fits the mood. Maybe if you're someone who doesn't like to dance yourself, you can entertain people by making your Shiro dance. Anyway, it is definitely a, a fun 
kind of technique gadget uh, toy. Um, it doesn't have much of a practical use, but it is a fun toy. Um, there are other things you can get with it. You can get these, uh, they're called nub covers uh, that go over it, and these can help in certain uh, situations. Generally speaking, on carpet and on our wood laminate floor, um, I find that it, I kind of like using it without the cover. I think it, it does better. But then in some cases, or outside or something, you might want, you might, the cover might, might help. Um, so there's the nub cover, there's another cover that's a, a speed cover. It's uh, rubber, which gives it more grip than the uh, slick plastic shell that it that is uh, uh, it's built into. Um, but it doesn't have the nubs, it's smooth. So this is, a, they call this a speed cover. So th those covers are available as well um, for it. But I mostly, uh, whoa, and it's tough. You can drop it and it doesn't break. I think they say you can drop it uh, up to about 18 inches. Um, so like you can, if it goes downstairs, it's fine. It's, it's a tough, tough little uh, uh, ball robot as it, you know, the, the developers behind it did a good job. They knew what they were doing. And you know, it's a toy. Of course it's gonna fall. Of course you're gonna run it down. You know, it's gonna run down the stairs as you're using it around your house. It's gonna run into walls. So they made it uh, able to, to take those things and, and, and it be okay. Um, but it is called the Shiro. Now, this is the newest one. I think it's Shiro 2.0 because there was the original. This is so. This is the uh, second version. So uh, uh, I assume I never had the first one, but I assume they took all the feedback from the first one and put it into this one, which is probably why I like this one so much and why it works so well. Um, it is a fun little toy, fun to play with. Something I would recommend either for uh, kids um, or for uh, uh, tech geeks uh, who are adults um, and like to play with toys. And you can even, if you really want to get tech geeky, uh, there is actually a programming language for Shiro. So you can learn that programming language and then you can create your own apps or program Shiro to do different things. Uh, yourself using this Shiro uh, uh, programming language. Anyway, um, that's it uh, for this review. Uh, that's pretty much you saw the video, you saw what it does. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, of course, you can buy them on Amazon. I'll have a link to the Shiro's on Amazon. You can click that and check them out over there, read what other people have said about them, pick one up for yourself or for maybe someone as a gift uh, if that's what you're looking to do. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you like this review, click that like button. If you have any questions about this, feel free to put it in the description below. I'll do my best to answer those as quickly as I can. Um, check out my channel for all kinds of other product reviews, uh, household appliances, uh, electronics and gadgets, as well as pet products. Um, all those are in there. Uh, if you uh, have an Android phone, then check out my Android app review playlist. I review only pro productivity apps or, or apps that make your phone better. I don't do games. So uh, check that out for really cool apps for your Android phone. And if you are a tech geek, maybe check out my Tasker tutorials and my uh, Android car tablet series because you'll probably find those interesting as well. Anyway, that's going to be it until next time. So have a great day.